Hey y'all, so this video is going to be a tutor tutorial on how I made these flyers or graphics um, using the Canva. I am doing this voiceover from outside, so hopefully the background noise isn't too loud. Of course, the first thing you want to do is pull up the Canva app. If you haven't heard of Canva, Canva is pretty much an app that helps you create graphics and all of that good stuff for your business. As you can see, the different options they have for all social media sites, logos, business cards, all of that good stuff. They pretty much create templates for you where all you have to do is um, change out pictures and text and you pretty much have graphics um, readily made for your business. In this example, I'm going to scroll back up and use the Facebook option. And I always like to start with a blank template because I'm a creative type of person and I like to just come up with my own stuff. So at the bottom, I click on the blue plus sign. I click on um, graphic or image. I can't remember what I clicked on. And then right now, I'm just looking for an image of um silver glitter and all i did was rotate that image and put it to the corner of the image i also duplicated that image so that i can create it down at the bottom hopefully this all makes sense y'all <laughs> now i am going in um so now i'm going to add a graphic and pretty much i'm just going to look for a triangle once i find a triangle I am going to change the color of the triangle to pink and then I'm just going to rotate it and also add it to the corners. And then I end up changing the arrangement of the pink um, triangle and put it up under the sparkle silver image. <laughs> And then I duplicate the pink triangle again, and then I do kind of the same thing at the bottom. And now I'm just gonna save this image. That way I can have it as like a branding template. If I ever wanna add like a text on top of it, I could just, you know, pretty much have it as a branding template. But I'm gonna go ahead and open it back up so I can add more to it. So right now I open up the, um, I'm going to images, I'm opening up my camera roll and I am going to add a stock photo of the hair with a transparent background. And pretty much all I'm doing is dragging it into the image um, somewhere that makes it look decent. Right now, I'm playing around with the glitter um, image in the corner right there. I'm playing around with the, um, I'm just playing around with it to kind of see what I like. Right now, like I said, I started with a blank template. So I'm really just trying to play around with stuff and see what it looks like. So pretty much right now, what you're seeing, I did the same thing with all of my hair types. I pretty much added in um, transparent photo of, the bundles and placed it inside of the graphic so right now what you see me doing with my um kinky straight hair i'm pretty much adding in the text so i'm just playing around with the font the colors and um uh, yeah
So I decided to duplicate the text, change the color to black. That way I can have kind of a bordered um, look to the text. Um, it's very tricky trying to lay them on top of each other <laughs> when you're using your fingers, but um, that's pretty much what I did. Um, as you can see now, I just continue to play around with font. I'm adding in more font and I'm just playing around with it just to see what looks nice, what doesn't look like, what doesn't look nice, that type of thing. So right now I'm adding a graphic, just like a little rectangle type of line that I can put up under the words kinky straight. That way the words, the text kinky straight can pop out a bit. Um, and then, like I said, I'm just going to continue to add more text um, just until I feel like it looks decent.
All right, and now I'm gonna add in another graphic. I just want to add in a plain square that I can put behind the text so that it can stand out a little more. Um, yeah, pretty much.